Hello, good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about introduction to congruence. To start with, let's read the definition. If A, B, and M are elements of integer numbers and such that M is greater than zero, if M divides A minus B, B we say that A is congruent to B modulo M. And we can write a congruence to B mode M. We can write A congruence to B mode M. Example 11 congruence to 3 mode 4 and 43 congruence 1 mode 6. So from the definition of, N of congruences, if A, B, M are elements of integer numbers and such that M is greater than zero if m divides a minus b then we can say that a is congruent to b modulo m so in this case m here is four we have m here b as three and a as eleven to state the definition we have four as m we have m divides a minus b as state here. So m as 4 divides a is 11 and b is 3. So 11 minus 3 and here we have a, b, and m. So m divides a minus b so we have 6 divide 43 minus 1 so that completes the whole definition of congruences now let's talk about the theorem of congruences theorem 1 if a and b are integers then a congruence b mode m if and only if there is an integer k such that a equals b plus m k. Since we already know from the definition of congruences that a is congruent to b mode m, then m divides a minus b, namely as a minus b equals key m from the definition of congruences we have m divides a minus b right and a minus b is equal to key m and that makes a equals b plus key m if you transpose this b to the right, then it makes a equals b plus key m. And that assumes a equals b plus m key. And this means, this whole expression means that a congruence to b mode m. All right, let's see the example. To demonstrate the theorem one, let's see the example. Now, suppose that A equals 185, B equals three, and M equals 14. Then we have 195 as A, three as B, and 14 as M. Now where did you where did we get 13? So from the definition of congruences we have a congruence b mode m if m divides a minus b 
So the M here is 14 divides A, we have 185 minus 3. And 14 divides 182 equals 13. Right? And this 13 is our key. 13 is our key. So therefore, we are now using the theorem 1, which A equals B plus key M. Or M key. That's, that's, that's the same. M key or key M. It is equal to, which is equal to, 3 equals 185 minus 14 times 13. It means that 185 is congruence 3 mode 14. Now, let's proceed, proceed to theorem 2. The theorem 2 states that let A, B, C, and M be integers such that M is greater than 0 and D equals C and M. Then, A, C, congruence, B, C, mode, M. If and only if, A, congruence, B, mode, M, divides, D. Now, if we have A, C, congruence, B, C, mode, M, so, in this matter, we have M divides C, times the quantity of A minus B. If M divides C times A minus B, then there is an integer like T. So if it will divide, there is an, there is an integer like T. Like T. And it can be written like C times A minus B equals M T. So divided by bo D both side, we will get C times A minus B over D equals MT over D. MT over D. However, if D equals C and M, then CD it will become CD and MD. If C over D and MD equals to 1, hence we can write CD from here, CD. So from this, we can write CD times A minus B equals MT over D. And MD, MD here, is a multiple of A minus B. So then we have M over D divides A minus B. And that turns into this, this one. That theorem, that all state the theorem too. That A is congruence B mode M divides D. All right, let's demonstrate the theorem. If we have 45 congruence 3 mode 6, and if we write 45 as a multiple of 3, 45 divides 3, we will get 15, right? If 45 divides 3, that's 15. So 15 times 3 equals 3 times 1 mode 6. So if we consider the theorem and C as 3, C as 3, then therefore we will get 3 and 6 equals 3. And our 3 here is our D. We see that 45, so if we will get the original 
they're given so we have we will get 45 divide 3 equals 3 divides 3 mode 6 divides 3 or simplify this form we will get 15 congruence that's congruence that's congruence so 15 congruence 1 mode 2 so don't forget that this is also congruence all right so this all expressions this thing demonstrate our theorem 2 of congruences now let's proceed to theorem 3 now that the theorem 3 of congruences state that if a b c d and m are all integers such that m is greater than zero then we have a congruence b mode m and c congruence d mode m then it follows through these following cases first case if we have a plus c congruence b plus d mode m second case a minus c congruence b minus d mode m and the third case a c congruence b d mode m so the only difference here is their sign all right addition subtraction and multiplication to prove this theory since a congruence b mode m and c congruence d mode m we know that m here is divide divides a minus b and in here mode m here divides c minus d right so for this one to prove this matter we have a plus c minus b plus d so if we have a plus c minus b plus d we will get a plus c minus b minus d right equals to so we will get a minus b so distribute the sign all right so a minus b so here distribute the sign so a minus b plus c minus d so it turns like quantity of a b plus c minus d so that would look like hence if m from here if m divides quantity of a plus c minus b plus d by theorem 2 from this a plus c congruence to b plus d mode m and to prove this one it it's just the same from here it, the only difference here is their sign right their sign it's negative and then third case ac congruence to bd mode m so if we have ac ac here minus bd from this from this expression so we will just um substitute the value if this is the c and if this is the d so ac minus d equals ac minus ad distribute right ac ad plus ad minus bd so we will get a times c minus d plus d then a minus b which implies here that m divides quantity of ac minus bd and that forms this last case all right now let's demonstrate the theorem 3 so for example 
if we have 45 congruence B mode 4 and 11 congruence 3 mode 4, from the theorem 3, in which we have the integer A, B, C, D, and M, if we let this 45 as A and 5 as B, 4 as M, then 11 as C and 3 as D in mode and 4 as M. In, in the first case, we have A plus C equals B plus D. Now, if our A here is 45, we just substitute the value plus C 11 equals mode M. equals b5 plus d3 mode 4. Alright? 45 plus 11. In this case, we have 56 congruence to 5 plus 3. It's a mode 4. So we can now complete the theorem, no, the first case. For the second case, we have A minus C congruence to congruence, that's congruence, congruence to B minus D and mode M. Mode M. From the given, we have A 45 minus c 11 45 minus 11 congruence to b equals to 5 minus d equals to 3 that's 45 minus 11 congruence 5 minus 3 mode 4 and it will become 45 minus 11 34 Congruence to 5 minus 3, it's 2, mode 4. Now in the third case, we have AC, congruence to BD, mode M. So from the given, we have 45 times C. 11 congruence to b here is it's 5 times d so 3 mode 4 it so happen it will become 45 times 11 it's 495 congruence to 15 5 times 3 it's 15 mode 4 all right so that completes the theorem 3 of congruences and that is all about the introduction of congruences the three theorems that i tackled today i hope that you learned something from this video thank you and goodbye